Yo, what's going on guys? Make way more tender. Bring another video in this one. We have another episode of the New Jersey Devils franchise mode. This is episode number six. In the last episode, we took on the New York Rangers in round number one of the 2016 Stanley Cup playoffs. 2016-2017 season playoffs, I should say. We lost the first game 4-2. Corey Schneider didn't have a very good game, but we held it down defensively for the next four games and put up a, a decent amount of goals, I would say, against the Rangers. They they looked like a pretty strong defensive team on paper, but we ripped them to sheds. I knew, I knew we had the better offense. It was just if we could outclass uh, their defense, which we did. But now this is probably... Gonna be the toughest of them all, the Washington Capitals. Now, another cool thing I want to show you is the Stat Central. So, it shows you the other three games. So, that shows you the other games going in the playoffs. So, there's us on the right, and then Montreal and Ottawa is the other uh, Eastern Conference final. Or, no, the Eastern Conference uh, semifinal, I mean, sorry. Then Nashville and St. Louis in the in one semifinal, and then L.A., and Anaheim in another semi semifinal. And then you can see on the left, Chicago, uh, Arizona, San Jose, and Dallas have been eliminated. And then from the east, Florida, uh, Buffalo, Detroit, and of course the Rangers have been eliminated. So the Washington Capitals had one more win than us, but we had we had the same amount of points, I believe so. Uh, let's just look at it right quick, so, I wanted to bring up the standings, but that takes too much work. Yeah, we had two more, yeah, we had the exact same amount of points, it's just, we had a little bit more shootout losses, and one overtime losses, but they had one more win, so they end up getting it. Alright, let's take a look at the Washington Capitals lineup, shall we? Alright. They, of course, are going to have the big man there, Alexander Ovechkin. I got lines right quick, and then view opponents. So here we go. Alex Ovechkin, of course, 31 years old. Is this finally the year he gets his cup? What has he done in the uh, regular season? He put up almost, he didn't put up exactly 50 goals, so he couldn't keep the streak going. He was a minus 35 that year. Wow, that's that's kind of bad. 86 points, so over a point per game. A little bit more assists uh, than he usually has. His first year, he put up 106 points, Jesus. Plus 21, 50 penalty minutes, sorry about my squeaky chair. He didn't take near the amount of shots he usually does. Only 325 shots, so that's almost like 75 or less than average. And what he usually takes... Uh, six points in the playoffs so far. I'm not quite sure how many games they wanted him, but Ovechkin's always going to be a threat. Nicholas Batchum, TJ Oshie, so they definitely do have a better first line. Marcus Johansson, Evgeny Kuznetsov, and Andrea Burakovsky. Kuznetsov, I, I guess Larkin would have him beat. I would say, or I'd say we have a better second line, but overall they definitely do have a better top six just because of Ovechkin, for sure. Third line, Tom Wilson, Jay Beagle, and Justin Williams. Justin Williams always performs during the playoffs. Yeah, 90 points for sure. He always, he always turns up during the playoffs. This might be one of his last cup runs as well. Jay Beagle and Tom Wilson. Uh, I would say we have them beat on the third line as well. Even though Justin Williams does consider, he like he is a technically a second line forward. Then the last line: Lars Eller, Brad Malone, and Daniel Winnick. So they don't actually have a true centerman, but offensively they're obviously gonna have the better team just because of Ovechkin. Top two defense with Alzer and Carlson. They have us beat there. We have two eighty fives. I would say the top. Four similar or pick a Niskan. A Niskan might be a little bit better than someone like Chris Russell. But overall, they're relatively the same. And then uh, the bottom six, uh, Taylor Chorney and Dmitry Orlov. And then they, of course, have Braden Holtby in the net. 
So I would say they do have us beat uh, some places for sure. Third line, I'd say the bottom six we have them. First and second line, it's like, we're not bad either, but defensively, I think they do have us. I would say they have us defensively, but relatively close all around, I should say. But I would give the advantage to Washington, but as we found out, you can have a good defense, but if you don't put up any goals, it's, it's tough. Just ask the New York Rangers, so. Let's get into game number one of the Eastern Conference semifinals of the 2016-2017 season. Corey Schneider, MVP of that last series, I would say. I would say every game we won, he was the first star. He led the team. We need some players to step up. We need Datsuk, Taylor Hall, Dylan Larkin to all step up here. Look. Taylor Hall did not have a very good first playoff series as a New Jersey Devil, so let's get off to a good start. And we do, and speaking of Taylor Hall, the first goal of the Eastern Conference semifinals, Taylor Hall scores against Braden Holtby, and then Reed Boucher uh, just at the bottom of the circle, not even a minute later. They have double the amount of shots, so Corey Schneider getting tested early, but our shots are counting when we need them. Six shots to 13. Wow. But we got two goals. Which is all that matters. So. I wouldn't mind getting an insurance one here. Because it's almost guaranteed Washington's going to score another goal here. Yeah. That's that's kind of what I was talking about. Alex Ovechkin and Nick Batstrom. The two first liners. Ovechkin of course. You're not going to be able to shut him down no matter what. Nicholas Batstrom ties it up. Then towards the end of the period. Pavel Datsuk. He wants his cup, man. He wants the last cup. Top of the circle. Gets one past Brayden Hope. He's still out shooting us. I think we got a little bit better of a period shots-wise. Uh, yeah, we had 10 shots that period. How many did they had? I think they had 11. So relatively similar in the shots second period. Let's see if we can close game number one out. This would be huge in Washington as well. The crowd's going crazy. Can the New York Devils hang on in game number one? Penalty killer. Penalty kill has been good. All playoffs. Here we go. We get another penalty kill stop. They haven't had a shot in like five minutes there. Corey Schneider in the defense. Can they hand it down? Yes, they do. Mike Camilleri puts on an insurance goal with one minute and 36 seconds left. And we take game number one of the, of the Eastern Conference semifinals. All right. Your three stars of the game. Pavel that's one goal and two assists. Wow. What a game he had up on the first line. Corey Schneider, uh, two goals allowed, for but he did have the 30 saves, and he held it down in the third period. I'm really sorry about my squeaky chair. Alexander Ovechkin, one goal, one assist for the loss. Oh, God, I had to burp. For the loss, and we take game number one. Of the semifinal, so they they went four and one uh, as well because they're four and two now. All right, so Ovechkin had six points in five games. That's that's pretty good. All right, game number two. Let's get into it. Oh no, I don't want to play a game. My main alt stick froze for a second. All right, simulate game. Let's go. Game number two, we had a really good start to the semifinals. We kind of got outshot. They kind of, I wouldn't say dominated. I would say dominate in the first period, but we did get two goals early. We, they do have an early power play, so let's see if we can get some goals. No, one to nothing. Nicholas Batstrom scores against Corey Schneider. It wasn't on the power play, though. I don't think it's not on the power play that we've seen anyways. 14 shots to 10. They are out shooting us once again. We need to get some goals back. Don't get any there. We did out shoot in that period. Oh god, I didn't. I want to. I want to pause it there. Yeah, 23 shots even. 18 minutes left in the third. We need to get one past Braden Holpe in the Washington defense, but we also can't allow any. Carl Pomeleri. There we go. The top of the circle. Power play to no avail. We are now shooting them. They haven't had a shot in a long time. Penalty kill. Yes, our penalty kill. We haven't allowed a power play goal. All playoffs. 
Three minutes left in the third. Will there be another late period goal? No, there won't be. We are off to overtime for the second time in these playoffs. We are now shooting 34-30. to Let's see if we can get the W. Come on, New Jersey. I'm saying Dylan Larkin or TJ Oshie for your winners. 39 shots to 32. Penalty kill. Yes, another one. Still not allowing any power play goals. Five minutes left in overtime. Are we heading to double overtime? No, we are not. Brutz or pick from the blue line. Oh, that's a rough one. That's a rough loss to take with 2.47 left in overtime. Brooks or pick with the winner. What a game Braden Holpe had. I'm going to assume he was first star of the night. Yeah, Braden Holpe, 43 saves, one goal allowed on 44 shots. Corey Schneider had a very good game as well. And then your third star, Brooks or pick with the game winning goal. That's a rough loss to take, man. Especially going, imagine going up 2 nothing against Washington, going to New Jersey with the Nets games being three, with the net, with your, with the Nets games being three out of the four being at home, uh, being up 2-0 would be so crucial right now, but we are not, let me advance to May, there we go, all right. Are we at the 30th here? Where are we? Yeah, the 29th. 30th, alright. It's not letting me. It's not letting me. That's me hitting X. I can't. It's not letting me go on to it. Can I access it from here? There, yeah, alright. That was weird. It wouldn't let me hit it from the May schedule. Alright, game number three. Can we come away with the win the first game in New Jersey for the semifinals can we get the win we took a rough loss in overtime with two minutes left in game number two in Washington we need to get off to a good start and that's the exact opposite of what happened Brad Malone gets it started then Taylor Hall ties it up and then two goals in the last five minutes Alexander Ovechkin and then TJ Oshie. A rough start to the period for Corey Schneider. A rough start to the game. Three goals on ten shots. This was not what I was hoping for. We get one back. Pavel Datsuk. We are highly of shooting. They only had five shots that period. Three to two. We are dominating them, boys. We need to get some goals right now. And Corey Schneider needs to have a better game. He's been rough. He's been rough. We also need to get some shots. We've only had one shot in about 10 minutes. There we go. Power play goal, Dylan Larkin. I think that's his first goal of the playoffs. His first of the semifinals. Are we heading to another overtime? They're not putting very many shots on the net. One second left. We are heading to overtime because Dylan Larkin came in clutch halfway through the period to tie the game up to 33 to 22 were the shots in favor of us. We are highly, highly dominating them. Can we come away with the win in overtime? Corey Schneider and the defense, they're not putting very many shots on us. We just need the offense to produce, and they do. Taro Pomolari from the point. I think that was our first shot in overtime. Yes, it was. So five minutes and we finally get our first shot. Taro Pomolari from the point. Gets one past Braden Holpe, and we take game number three, boys. There we go. Game number three. Your three stars tonight, all New Jersey Devils, all having one goal and one assist. Taylor Hall with one goal and one assist with five hits. Palm Leary, one goal, one assist. The overtime winner, and then Dylan Larkin, one goal, one assist. I was expecting Palm Leary to be first star, and then like Larkin to be second star, and then... Hall to be third star. That's kind of weird that they put Hall. Uh, it's kind of weird that they put Hall first star, considering he kind of did like the least out of kind of all of them. But we get the overtime victory in game number three. All right, 
Game number four, boys. Game number four. Can we take a stranglehold on the series? Or is Washington going to get their momentum back and head back to Washington? Oh, this is a this is a big game. If we lose this game, we go down, or if the series becomes tied at two to two, with Washington having two of the next three games at home, this this is a big game. This is, I don't want to say this could be the series, but if we get the victory, this could be it. Come on, Devils! Come on! Come on, Devils! There we go. That's the way I want to see it. Taylor Hall gets one with about 12 minutes left, a little bit under in the first period. Then Bo Bennett gets his first of the playoffs, I believe. And then Reed Boucher. So our third line, our second and third line coming into play there. And then our top winger, Taylor Hall, gets it done. We got the stranglehold on them. We can hopefully finish this out. Oh, they get two back, though. Justin Williams to kick off the period. About 40 seconds in and then about three quarters of the way through, Jay Beagle gets from, from the point. This game, unfortunately, is not over yet. They're out shooting us 23-16. to 16. We need to have a solid defensive performance. Penalty kill gets it done once again. Our penalty kill is on fire. Come on, penalty kill again. This is, I thought that was a five minute. Five minutes left, boys. Hang on. Corey Schneider in the defense needs to hang on. There we go. Bo Bennett on Peter Graubauer or whatever his name is. Why did they take Braden Holpe out? They pulled Braden Holpe after the first period. What a move. After the three goals allowed in the first period, Braden Holpe gets pulled for Philip Grubauer. I think that's his name. Philip Grubauer? Or is it Peter? I think it's Philip Grubauer. We get five goals on 25 shots. They do outshoot us. Mike Camilleri and Bo Bennett get two third, late third period goals. Reed Boucher with the first start of the night. One goal and two assists. Bo Bennett with two goals. So we're in depth scoring, getting it done right there. And then Corey Schneider, 30 saves on 32 shots for the win. This is what I wanted to see. We could easily have swept them here. We could easily have swept them because we we really outplayed them that night where we lost in overtime. This could be our year. We go up 3-1 to one in the series, but two games now in Washington. Game number five in Washington. Washington Capitals with the backs against their wall. They need to get a spark. We've cooled down Alexander Ovechkin and Nicholas Backstrom. I don't even think TJ Oshie has a point, yes. And Brayden Holpe was pulled last game. The Washington Capitals are falling apart in front of us as they do every playoff run. Will it be different this year? Can they make the comeback on the New Jersey Devils? Game number five in Washington starts off as a 0-0 tie. We have two shots. We have two shots in 20 minutes of hockey. Two shots in 20 minutes of hockey. So we didn't have a shot until about almost, it was about six minutes, six minutes and 20 seconds in. You had a shot. Then we got one a minute and 28 seconds later. We didn't have a shot in 12 minutes and 12 seconds. Well then, uh, we're not going to win games if we only get two shots, period. Especially against Brayden Holtby. With one of those shots being, oh god, voice crack. Being from essentially the boards at the blue line. We need to get some shots. We need to put some pressure on them. We do that just exactly. Mike Camilleri finally gets a goal. I think that's his first goal of the semifinals as well. Two minutes in, so it looked like the maybe the first shot of the second period for us. 
we did get eight shots that period, so we did get a little bit more. And then Andrea Burakovsky ties it up from the top of the circle. And then pretty much right off face-off, Reed Boucher comes down eight seconds later. That's kind of hard to do. Eight seconds later, and it's like from where he scored from. That's hard to do, but we take the two to one lead. The Washington Capitals need a goal, or else they are out of the Stanley Cup playoffs in 2016, 2017. And the New Jersey Devils, which we thought would be a rebuilding year, can head to the Eastern Conference Finals to face either Ottawa or Montreal. Halfway through the third period, our penalty kill coming up huge. A five-minute power play killed off, and the New Jersey Devils head to the Eastern Conference Finals. Wow. Eastern Conference Finals bound for the New Jersey Devils. What a performance we put on after only having two shots in the first period. Corey Schneider gets 27 saves on 28 shots. Reed Boucher, one goal. And Andrea Burakovsky, one goal. Did we ever shut down Alexander Ovechkin? And it's another letdown year for the Washington Capitals. But the New Jersey Devils, wow. I was not expecting this at all. The other series tied up 2-2, two to two, so we will not know for a couple of days who we will be facing but wow, we could have easily swept them as well if we won that overtime game. Wow. Wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Let's take a look at some of the other series. Nashville finishes off St. Louis 4-1 with relatively with relative ease. LA and the Ducks. Ottawa takes the series advantage against Montreal. LA and the Ducks. LA finishes off the Ducks. The Eastern, the other Eastern Conference semifinal between Montreal and Ottawa is tied up three to three. Game seven, who will we be facing? In oh, that's kind of anticlimactic. Who will we be facing in the Eastern Conference Finals? I kind of hope it's Ottawa. It is the Ottawa Senators. We had the exact same record as them as well. So in the finals of the Eastern Conference, it is the New Jersey Devils against the Ottawa Senators. And in the West, the LA Kings against the Nashville Predators. We beat Washington 4-1. We beat the Rangers 4-1. Forgot who we played in the first round for a second. The Ottawa Senators, are they the next victims of the New Jersey Devils? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Feedback is important. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.